We have all kind of animals come greet us. Wants to be on on the YouTube. That dog says, what in the world is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're here today. We're going to pick up that 648D that we uh, showed y'all a few weeks ago that started along with the burnt skitter, 648G3. And Bobby from Wolf Lake, Illinois is back again on his Western Star. Uh, this one start, cranks and loads, starts and a load itself. And we're going to go somewhere else and pick up another piece of machine that's burnt and we're gonna use this 648D to help load it. So the 648D's got, this may be the last thing that the 648D does before it gets, uh, becomes a donor machine. I don't think they know exactly what they're gonna do with it yet. They'll know when they get up there, a lot of these skitters are so wore out. Every, a lot of things gotta be done and parts are so high, it's just hard to you know, spend that kind of money on a machine that old, even though I like them old machines like that. But anyway, I'm just rambling on. We get turned around and getting everything situated. Y'all stay with us. Don't fast forward. Go ahead and do what you want to. Y'all grown people. Y'all can do like you want to do. But we're going to get this thing loaded up and we're going to head and pick up a burnt dozer. All right, let's go get that machine. We have all kind of animals come greet us. Wants to be on on the YouTube. They're not shy. That's for sure. All right. There's the D model scooter. I know uh, the ones that's been watching the channel know that we come out here and checked it out. It runs good, but you remember it was, the rear main seal was leaking. Well, we've got a problem there, Houston. But Jacob, if you'll get that, uh, gallon of motor oil right there in that bucket. We changed oil in my other son's pickup. Sorry for that camera view, guys. We changed oil in my other son's pickup and we saved it, uh, which makes sense to recycle it because it's just going to cool through this uh, pretty fast. And we're going to get the oil in here, get Mr. Bobby loaded and Get up to where that, I forgot how hard that was to do. I know it's low, but I want to make sure they didn't put none in it. They didn't. Yes, yeah, low. It's a non-oil making machine right now. Hopefully I can hit it. And I can't. Oh, it's going okay. I tell you what, this used oil flows a lot faster than new oil. So when you pour it up, it's coming. It's like cheap ketchup, not like Heinz or, yeah, ain't that Heinz ketchup anticipation? This is like the cheap kind. All right, see if we got enough in there. We brought it up a lot, but it was low. Probably still getting on up. I pour the rest of it in there as much as I can. But like I was telling y'all earlier, this thing has got so many pins loose, and I think the hydraulic pump may be a little weak, may not be, might just be a filter. And the last time I bought one of those, they was three thousand dollars. The engines probably uh, be good. They'll have to do some tinkering with it to. Probably sell it, oh. but it's got good range, got a great transmission in it, and they probably just wind up parting it out. Uh, that's what they do, I think. I think they'll hope. I think they'll sell some, you know, all together. But most of the time, they're in the uh, in the parts business. Well, key's still in it. Oh, 
she ain't wanting to do nothing. Let's get some ether out the truck, Jacob, if you don't mind. Right there in that bonnet, Jacob. All right, that should do it. Gotta get warmed up. Can't see you, Bobby. Okay. All right. My whole life, I've never loaded one on a low boy like this. Okay. Job, it ought to. Old piece I'm pulling out oh. it shouldn't weigh about 17,000. Wow. Uh, that's a lot further down than it looks, people. Y'all remember Bobby? Uh, you get, well, let, me, let me time put the wheels back in for a short negative man. <laughs> See there, you didn't do that. I should have stayed up there. I should have known that by now. That's the first time I've ever loaded on a Detachment. Well, thank you. You see that oil, that motor oil. I filled it up and you got some, ain't you? I used what I had. That's, that's hydraulic oil there, but that might be coming from the brakes. Who knows? This is what I'm talking about, is why it's hard to put enough money in here to get one of these machines up and running because it is so much and they sit up so long, things go bad. Oh, 
the grapple rotate. Just just a number of things. There goes Jacob after the truck and dogs after him. But it does, you know, got a good tire on it. Uh, it's got a good appearance. Uh, you don't never know what they're going to do. They might sell it to some uh, body that, that wants to work on it during the winter up north or something. A lot of people like them. I'm one of them. But let me help Bobby get get these things chained up. All right, Bobby, you're going to hook this one here, too. You're going to... Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. Bobby, you recognize coming through there is where we got the G3 close by? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I looked on the mount this morning and that was, that was actually the closest route. Hey, pretty close to it yesterday when I was coming out around that wreck. I had to come down through here to get around that wreck. Oh, goodness. Some guy turned his log truck over over on 41. Oh. Hey, if any of y'all's uh, watching and know who had a log truck wreck over on 41, how about letting us know in the comments if condition of the driver and if anybody was hurt. I hate to hear that. Do what, Bobby? All right, where we're going? What town? Lineville. Lineville, okay. Up there on, uh, we're going to go through Montgomery and catch nine, go through good water and all them places. I, I'm not sure. I'm just going to put it in, okay. in my Google Maps. All right. Well, we, I know we're going to take a lift up here, and that's going to carry us back to 65, 19 miles down there. We're well, not quite 19 miles, probably about 15 miles down there to 65. When you got these big mule wipes, you that's how you change get dirty right there. You get something burnt, oil comes out of it and gets on your chain. But those mule wipes are they get you when you grab a piece of chicken and not get too of a greasy oily taste. And another thing, he's gonna have three thousand dollars in freight at minimum from where he is. 
So that's why it's gonna go try, that's why it's gonna go by there and load up a, a 550 John Deere Dozier. I'm thinking it's a John Deere. Is it a John Deere or a case? It's a John Deere. Okay, a John Deere. To help uh, keep the cost of freight down in each of these pieces. But anyway, we're gonna go help him. We're gonna take this John Deere, like I said, we're gonna try to pull it up there. Uh, we're sitting at he can't get right to it with his truck. We're gonna go up there with him and film it and get this thing loaded. So y'all just hang on with us and see how this thing turns out. It'll be a couple hours for us, but it won't be but just that's where we turn around. But right here, we're probably gonna have to try to get in here best we can and try, probably unload and get you to turn around there. But we'll take my pickup and go try to locate it and just see where we need to need to set up and try to get her loaded. He said, follow the fence line. We're going to cross two creeks, and um, we'll see it. There's where you could get in the bind right there on that washout, but we'll get it. Come on, Jesus. All right, well, we're coming through, Jacob. Just watch that cow. Don't let that cow get in here. That's your job, be a cowboy. Hey, Bobby, when you get here, you can just stop right there and block the gate. I'm going to go ahead and try to locate the, okay. the skitter. Then I'll come back and get you. That's going to be pretty tough for her. Boy, you're a feisty old thing, ain't you? Jacob, I wouldn't get close to that one now. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't get close to that thing. That thing ain't scared of nothing. He's going to block the gate with the truck when he gets here. Okay. All right, Jacob, let's go try to find it. You want to ride back there with us? I'm telling you, Jacob, watch that bull. That's something going right under. I ain't scared of nothing. He tried to butt the head of my truck. Yeah, once they uh, get paid, probably they just kind of wait on the big stand. There it is. And then we can get the transfer truck. We'll see. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, now I got you. Okay, now that makes sense. Three one creeks. He said just keep riding that fence line. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right 
Hey, one more time, and I hope it don't bother you no more, but uh, I've come across the first little creek, yep. and I held right around to the fence line, and I'll and I come up to where you had a, like an electric fence strung up, like a knee-high electric fence. Oh, no, no, no. you were going in the wrong gate. I don't have any electric fence. I went through that double gate, right? Or that, do I need to go on the other side? It's a double green gate. Uh, that was hinged in the middle, right? That you had to hook? In the middle. There was one on the, so it was on the right side of the road. Yeah. There should have been a straight new fence line just to the right of it coming off. That bull that bull on this side wasn't yours. It was somebody else. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it's probably it's more high, high, more high than a bull than I can tell. <laughs> it wasn't scared of nothing, I can tell you that. I ain't gonna do it. Oh. Probably gonna pull his axles up. Don't let him in the road. Hold just a minute, Bobby. Now let me see if I can. Let me get out and get in. You think? Have to suck him in, won't you? Come on. Hold my tractor. Try to hold my tractor. Get okay. Wheels. Not all the way up, but part of the way up. Okay. I don't know back here sitting on that steep hill, though. Okay. Thank you. 
never thought that Jolly's gonna make. He got plenty of room on this side. Oh, 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 you. What much you could do about it. What much you could do about it. Didn't hurt anything. Did not hurt anything. Look at that. Well, I thought he just scrubbed it just a little bit. But he didn't hurt it. All right, let me get in here now, Jacob. Yeah, this looks a lot better than that other. We gotta go across another creek, though. That was two right there. Oh, well, that was two creeks? Uh -huh. There's another one. Must this be a drain? We should see it on top of the hill. It'd be nice if you just get to it and winch it on, wouldn't it? You see it? Yeah. I don't know where to leave it to be able to get it to want to come back after. Okay, you're not going to get them both then. Too heavy? No, there's no way I can hold it. Okay, I, I, I didn't know. Swing wide on that one. Am I gonna go hit it? Yeah, you're gonna hit it. Go ahead and get you a straight shot. Well, there it is. Ain't one thing, that's just gonna do it, ain't it? Yeah, that's pretty much the way it goes. <laughs> Alright, here's what we come all the way to Lineville, Alabama to pick up is this thing right here. It is a 550G. It got just a little hot. Still got the key in it. Uh, there's a serial number in case anybody's interested in maybe buying this thing, they can see what year it is. I have no idea. But I remember when this when we thought Dozier's was high, when the G models come out. Now y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe like a 650G was like $65,000 or something like that new. Maybe I'm dreaming. It was in the 90s is what I'm gonna guess this is year model. But there's what happened was is this. Oh, the sprockets. Sprockets are not bad at all. As I've told y'all before, I'm not a, uh, I think the, I think the, the pins can be turned. I think they was turned one time. I think they can be turned again on these tracks. Of course, it's a four, uh, six way blade. Got a pretty good cutting edge on it. I don't know what it weighs, but I guess that uh, he'd be able to fit both of them on the low boy. 
Not for sure. There's a fire extinguisher. He gave it all he had. Really not much else to show on this thing, but if you're interested in it, give uh, Schaefer a call. And uh, he, if you're interested in parts, I'm sure all this back here is good. Give Schaefer a call up in Wolf Lake, Illinois, and he probably can hook you up. Or email me. Uh, email's in the description. And I'll get y'all hooked up together. And I want to give a shout out to Mark. I was coming through, uh, it wasn't Limeville, it was the town before then. Stopped at the Napa store there and got me a five gallons of oil and I met Mark in there. Shout out to Mark. He is the owner of, let's see, Bama Diesel Repair from Woodland, Alabama. So if anybody needs any things fixed out in the woods, loggers like this. Mark, you might even be interested in this thing. This might be a project that you would like to take on. You and your son may take this on. But it's sitting over here in Limeville right off Highway 9. Uh, so anyway, let's go back up here and uh, see if we can find out where, what we're going to do here and how we're going to do it. Oh, we probably could have went right across the road to that shop with it and let it sit right there and life would have been a lot easier for him. But that's all right. Ready? Jacob, anything coming? more fun when you're by yourself because you got to jump out with a sure. strap on that on that lever that, that was interesting i was actually pushing it wasn't the tire did you I, see I, me I back there you, i yeah. seen you had this super, superman stuff going yeah. on <laughs> well till next time all right i'm all gonna right. put my gps the closest way home and see if i can well you'll be at nine right there you know 
Highway nine's right That's there. Nine. Yeah. Right. I know you'll go back toward uh somewhere. Yeah. That's right. I'll be going somewhere. <laughs> That's right. All right. See you next time, Bobby. Well, they didn't go as planned. They decided, I thought it was gonna carry both of them at one load since it was just a little 550, but it was a G model. Uh, as you've seen, minor fire damage, but they said it would just be too much weight. So he's gonna come back down here again when he don't have a load and get it himself. We appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and remember, this is why I always say, don't be wily.